just got back from looking at two different fields, same grower farms, both fields. One was planted eight days earlier, otherwise the same planter, same hybrid, same in furrow. It's purely looking at temperature and stress and what that does to plants. We've got one that's planted on wheat stubble, corn on wheat stubble, one that's planted corn on bean stubble. Both of them are no-till. Just looking at how that temperature drove a little bit wider, darker leaf. They both are beat up. We've had a lot of wind and a lot of cold. Haven't had any sunlight. And I think the majority of the country is feeling this pressure of watching these plants just sit idle and not grow. I bring this up because ultimately we're sitting here at V2. Most of the fields around here are gonna start getting sprayed again with herbicide. We cannot afford to lose any more days. Um, we've lost a ton of rooting. You can see the corn that was planted on bean stubble has nice dreadlocks around it. It's not as pronounced as I'd like to see. The roots aren't as big as I'd like to see, but at least it has it. What that tells us is that plant has handled the stress enough that it can still release sugar into the system to let the root grow and to truly build that rhizophagy cycle that we need to have to be efficient with uh, nutrient uptake. As soon as we're getting good temps here at the end of the week, people are going to feel better about the corn, but then they're going to go out and hammer it and slow it back down. I personally believe we need to look at things like relax. We have to be focused on how do we maximize every day we have. If we don't maximize these days, ultimately what's going to end up happening is we're going to run short of sugar production days. The more sugar we produce in the season, the more yield potential we have. The more stress we're under, the, the less we're going to produce that sugar and the less we're going to release that. It's inexpensive and it absolutely allows that plant to metabolize that herbicide quicker. It's still going to go under some stress, but if we can cut that stress in half, it's going to make an impact. We've lost an opportunity here in the establishment stage. The high yield guys, the seed corn companies, they all talk about that we lose 50 to 65 percent of the potential of that bag of corn or soybeans due to stress. We can't change that, but what we can do is make an impact from here on out to make darn sure that we're maximizing every minute that plant has to create sugar and potential yield.